Hey friends and welcome back to Sewing From Scratch. I am Kate and this is where I teach you everything I know about sewing and we learn more together along the way. Today, oh, I can't even like, oh my goodness, I received my very first gifted fabric and you're gonna see my, my in real life, real time, whatever reaction. The shop that sent this to me is called Atelier Adopt. Atelier Adopt is a Montreal based company. So they're right here in my home town of Canada. And, um, and it's, it's run by three women and it's a dead stock company. So all of these things make it so amazing to shop from. I highly recommend checking out their website. I will leave it down below. There's going to be a discount code for you guys. I will mention it after the unboxing. It's of course sustainable and eco-friendly because it's all dead stock. If you don't know what dead stock is, I do have a video. So head there right now and then come back to this video, watch me unbox this amazing parcel and then get the discount code and you can shop from Atelier Adopt. Okay, package has arrived. Let's get this baby opened. Ooh, already liking a zipper, nylon coil zipper. Invisible black. Um, how long is this? So this is a nine inch zipper. Some elastic. One and a quarter inch elastic. Just like regular um, elastic for like waistbands and such. Then the fabric. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is I have no idea, but it's so soft. And yeah, it's like a, it's a knit. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm curious if there's like a, oh my gosh, there's, there's something in here telling you what all this stuff is. All right, hold up guys. Some of this might be sounding kind of like I have no idea what I'm talking about, which I'm not claiming that I do, but um, we're gonna go over exactly what these things are right after I do the actual unboxing. So you will get to know what these are according to the website and there will be links to them down in the description box below if you're interested in buying the exact fabric. This, oh my goodness, a lot of you are gonna be like, whoa. And I'm kinda like, whoa too, but I think I will use it for, for like, it's a lining. I think it, it feels like swimsuit lining to me. And uh, this is really fun, I love this. And this is one of my colors, so pretty cool that I have that. Here's another one, maybe it's not lining, it's just like really lightweight. I don't know, we'll see. I'm hoping there's something in there that tells me what all this stuff is. But yeah, it's like really, really lightweight. It is opaque, it is not see-through, even when I stretch it. So there's this one, it's like a, I don't know, I wanna say like a Kermit green. <laughs> there's quite a bit of all of this. Another zipper, same invisible nine inch zipper. This one's like a fuchsia y color. This is wild. It's like specks of gold threads in here and a whole bunch of different, kind of like a watercolory type look. Uh, also a knit, that phrase, interesting. Very interesting. That must be the gold threads in there, or I don't know. I don't know. This is, I think this would make a really cool dress or skirt. There, oh, oh. This is, oh my hands are so dry, but this is a suede. Oh, mm, totally here for this. Is it stretchy? Yes, it is. Oh, Ooh, the back is like a, I don't know, I think you could use the back as an accent. It's almost like, almost looks like leather. Obviously suede, so that's really cool. And then this, oh there's no, there's no information sheet. I am kind of bummed about that. I wish I knew more about these fabrics. But this last one is a fuchsia, I don't know, a crepe, probably. I can't say if it's polyester for sure, um, but that's kind of my, I guess this is more burgundy now that I see this purpley 
pinky fuchsia fabric. Anyway, I feel like, yeah, I think this is polyester. So I would use it for like a lining probably, maybe a top. Um, I don't use a lot of polyesters, like 100% polyesters, but yeah. So that was my haul and I am incredibly excited. There's so much here to make. So I got three, four, five, six different cuts of fabric, the two zippers and the elastic. And I don't know what I'm gonna make. So leave me a comment, let me know. What would you make with any of these really awesome, fun fabrics? Let me know, I wanna hear. Okay, so you just saw my first impression. <laughs> Thinking back to like some of the things I said, I was like, what the heck was I thinking? I didn't know some of the fabrics. So we're gonna go over them just really quick and I'm gonna kind of tell you exactly what they are. And I'll also, ha I'll also have links to them down below if you're interested in shopping those exact fabrics or checking them out. Their prices are really, really great. They are sold by the meter. So the price you see on the site is actually per meter, not per half meter like a lot of shops are. And they also have some really cool mystery bundles that I think are pretty fun. So let's quickly go over the fabrics that I, you know, we'll see, you'll see them again, but it's just gonna be me holding them up and then telling you what they are. And don't forget, there's a discount code coming. I will mention it right after we do these fabrics. Okay, so these two fabrics, remember I was like, oh, I don't know, it's like a lining or something? No, it's ITY. Honestly, no idea. I, I heard of ITY, had never worked with it. Don't really, um, I'm not really sure what, you know, what I'll use it for, maybe like, I don't know. Leave me some, some comments down below. It is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. So let me know down below, what should I use these ITY for? This is super bright. I think it would make a pretty fun like top or bathing suit cover up or something. And then maybe like leggings or something with this. So let me know down in the comments below. I got two meters of each. What should I make with ITY or what do you make with ITY? All right, this was a crepe Georgette and I've never worked with, well, to my knowledge, I've never worked with crepe Georgette. I have worked with things that are basically identical to this that I can assume was also crepe Georgette. I think I'm gonna make some sort of blouse with this or a wrap dress. There's two meters of this. So I'm not, and I think it's only 44 inches wide, so I'm not 100% sure that I will get a wrap dress out of it. 100% polyester, crepe Georgette. Okay, this is the, the abstract brush strokes, I think it's called a brush knit, and it has the gold threads in it. This is 95% polyester 5% spandex doesn't it just says knit so yeah I'm, I'm still not sure I want to do something really fun with this maybe a, a skirt or like a peplum and pencil skirt kind of outfit or something like that not entirely sure if you have some comments leave me know let if you have some ideas leave them in the comments I have two yard two meters of this as well Okay, then this is the faux suede, which is, I think it's what I said it was. Or I said suede, but it is faux suede. And in the listing, it says that it's like, there's an abstract print on it. I am not getting that. So I don't know. I don't know if it's different, if this was just like a solid or what, but I do not see the pattern in it or the print. So it is faux suede. I really like the reverse of it. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do, I think I'm thinking like a jacket actually out of this or potentially a pair of pants. Although I'm not sure if I will wear them enough to like to make it worth it. So probably a jacket. All right, and then this burgundy one, remember I said it was a knit, it was heavy, I wasn't sure. It is a ponty and that is actually what I, what I kind of had in mind. Again, we don't know the, the content of this, but on their website, the best guess for the content was rayon spandex, rayon poly spandex. And it is, of course, a more structured knit, so I don't know, I really don't know. I could do a, um, I have my Sheridan sweater that I made in a ponty, so I would do definitely do another one. I love that sweater. Something just a little more, you know, you can do, have a lot of fun with more structured knits, like you can have the bigger sleeves or you can have some ruffles that really stand out. Again, I got the elastic. This is woven elastic as per the website. It is one and a quarter inch. And then the two coil zippers in burgundy and black. One, I think they're, I think they're eight to nine inches. And this black one has something I've never seen before. Not super familiar with invisible zips, but it has what appears to be a built-in hook and eye closure at the top. And it doesn't, I don't know, maybe it was put on backwards. I don't know. It's like not exactly, 
it's kind of twisting my brain around but maybe I'm just not looking at it properly so that's kind of cool so like I said I don't really sew with a lot of polyester and all of these were polyester but I mean I do need some fancier blouses and like and tops and things like that I do kind of I am kind of leaning into that more in my everyday life now that my kids are getting a little older. But the site definitely does offer wool. They have quite a bit of wool on their site right now and some cotton pieces as well. So it's not just polyester. I do want to say that they do have a mixture of synthetic and natural fibers on their website as well as knits and wovens. I did show you both here. So they do have that on their website. Speaking of their website, who wants a discount code? They sent me a code for 10% off of your next order with Atelier Adopt. And all you have to do is punch in the code sewing from scratch 10 and you'll receive that 10% discount. You can use this only one time and it expires at the end of November, 2021. So November 30th, 2021, that is the expiry date. Make sure you check it out and don't miss that. They do ship worldwide, so don't miss out on this incredible offer. Offer. Again, their prices are quite fabulous and I'm I'm very happy with the quality of the fabrics Especially for the price point. So don't be hesitant to shop from Atelier Adopt. Again, they did not pay me to say any of this They sent me some fabric. They gave me a discount code, but they didn't pay me any money to say anything to you This is all my own opinions and I think that they're a great shop and I just am so happy when I see new Canadian fabric shops that are dead stock that is like the ultimate bonus super happy for all canadian women-owned businesses and then when you can throw in dead stock it just like it just throws me through the roof as you can tell with how animated i am so thank you so much for watching and staying to the end of this video i hope it was entertaining for you i hope you gave it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and i will catch you in the next video bye